how a PGA Masters champion ended up in an Argentine prison. Not only unbelievable but strange also, Angel Cabrera is the first ever one player from Argentina who won the PGA Masters 13 years ago from now. Such a talented athlete has suddenly ended up in jail last year. He's now in prison in Argentina and that would sound mournful to any sport lover. But what exactly did he do that landed him in prison? What lies ahead in his career? So today in this video, we'll talk about how a PGA Masters champion ended up in an Argentine prison. Hey golfers, welcome to 24 Golf. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for your daily dose of golf content. With that being said, let's get started. Angel Cabrera won the Masters 13 years ago. The first green jacket ever won by an Argentine golfer thanks to his excellent shot making and some fortuitous breaks. Cabrera is currently in prison near Cordoba, Argentina after being found guilty of severe assault against a former spouse and accused of similar mistreatment by at least two other people. It's been a stunning fall from glory of El Pato, the duck, the two-time major winner whose trademark moment on Augusta National Course is possibly the most fortitious ricochet in tournament history. Cabrera's last collapse came in August 2020 when he failed to appear in court with Argentine prosecutors over allegations that he had abused his former partner Cecilia Torres Mana by hitting her in the face and attempting to drive her over with his car. Cabrera was then placed on Interpol's red list as a sought international fugitive by Argentina. Cabrera was apprehended by Interpol in Rio de Janeiro in January 2021 and sentenced to a Brazilian jail. Cabrera's former swing instructor, Charlie Epps, told Golf Week in 2021 that he spent six months there. Awful location. He was severely beaten. They didn't seem to mind that his name was Angel Cabrera. Many individuals approached me and they said they could get him out for $100,000. Cabrera was extradited to Argentina by Brazil in June 2021. He was put on trial for assault, theft, illegal intimidation, and continuous defiance of authority. Protests erupted in his birthplace of Villa Alande, with supporters citing his charity efforts as proof of his good character. Cabrera agreed to an interview with a local media source while awaiting trial, telling the UK golf magazine Bunkered that he was being portrayed as a monster, something that I'm not. Cabrera continued, We all make errors. We are all just human beings. I have faith in the justice system. However, his previous accomplishments were unimportant. Cabrera was found guilty of assaulting Torres Mana during their time together from 2016 to 18 and promptly began serving a two-year sentence. Torres Mana was not his only victim, according to prosecutors who maintained his innocence throughout the trial and beyond. His position is considered more complicated than this, prosecutor Laura Battistelli said at the time of the verdict. He has additional offenses for which there are already arrest orders. There are more casualties. Torres Mana gave her own story of her life with Cabrera shortly after his arrest, claiming that he physically, mentally, and sexually assaulted her during their relationship. She detailed a relationship that progressed from possessive to controlling to very frightening. I couldn't go shopping or to the gym. Angel had always assumed I would be with another man. Torres Mana stated he followed me and snatched my phone. He forced me to perform naughty things and threatened to strike me if I resisted. I had to be in the bedroom without an internet connection if Angel was having a meeting with his pals. It was an embarrassing experience. During a trip to Houston, Torres Mana was finally able to flee Cabrera. Cabrera had locked her in a closet and stole her phone and documents, but after he fell asleep, she boarded a plane back to Argentina. Fearful of Cabrera's retaliation against her and her family, Angel always warned me that reporting him would jeopardize his career, and he informed me about all of his political connections. However, one afternoon I worked up the confidence to denounce him. She wrote, I saw a light at the end of the tunnel from that point on. Cabrera competed in five events in August and September 2020, ostensibly without getting authorization from the Argentine government. No one could stop Angel. Torres Mana wrote, and if they tried to arrest him, he would refuse to return to Argentina. Cabrera's final Champions Tour event was the Pure Insurance Championship in September 2020 when he withdrew after two rounds of 76 to 77. He earned $5,580 for finishing in a tie for 47th place at the Sanford International a week earlier. In November of that year, he did not attend the Masters. He is presently incarcerated at Argentina's notorious Carcel de Bauer. 
a gang-infested jail in Cordoba known for its overcrowding and prisoner brutality. Bauer has acquired the moniker El Pinal del Infierno, Hell's Prison, and it's home to some of Argentina's most deadly offenders. Cabrera, who won the 2007 US Open at Oakmont by a stroke over Tiger Woods and Jim Furyk, has had a long, painful, and self-inflicted decline. After his second shot on the opening hole of a playoff, caromed off a tree and out into the fairway, he won the 2009 Masters. He was able to remain alive and defeat Kenny Perry on the second playoff hole as a result of this. He lost in a playoff against Adam Scott at the 2013 Masters, although he returned to the competition every year until 2019. Cabrera is set to arrive in theaters in the summer of 2023. Cabrera's father, Miguel, was a handyman while his mother worked as a maid, according to his biography. Cabrera was born in Cordoba, Argentina. When his parents divorced, he was three or four years old and was put in the care of his parental grandmother. Cabrera lived with her until he was 16 when he moved a few feet away to Silvia's residence, a mother of four sons and 12 years his senior. Frederico was their first child and Angel was their second. Cabrera began working as a caddy at the Cordoba Country Club when he was 10 years old and he claims it almost became his home. He learned to play golf by competing against other caddies for cash. Members saw his ferocious drive and tremendous swing, and one of them, Juan Cruz Molina, a local real estate billionaire, purchased him his first set of clubs when he was just 16 years old. Cabrera stood out on the course with his stocky stature and propensity to smoke at every hole. He's almost known for having one of the most powerful swings in the game. Frederico turned pro in 2008 and joined the PGA Tour qualifying school in 2011, but was eliminated in the second round. Angel, his second son, turned pro in 2012 and joined the Canadian Tour. On the PGA Tour Latino America, the older Angel and his sons also participate. Cabrera was detained in Rio de Janeiro in January 2021 after Interpol issued a red alert for leaving Argentina without authorization following the commencement of a criminal trial in which he was charged with assault, theft, and legal intimidation. He was held in a Brazilian prison until his extradition to Argentina was finalized in June 2021. He was found guilty and sentenced to two years in jail in July 2021. Cabrera turned professional at the age of 20, and his first three attempts at qualifying for the European Tour were unsuccessful. He qualified for the European Tour in 1996 after his fourth trip in 1995, which he made with Molina's financial support. Cabrera kept his card for the first three seasons with ease and advanced significantly to eighth on the Order of Merit in 1999. Since then, he's been in the top 15 of the Order of Merit seven times with a peak performance of fifth in 2005. Cabrera's first European Tour victory came at the 2001 Argentine Open a one-time event sanctioned by the European Tour that year. Before the developing combo of Andres Romero and Camilo Villegas won PGA Tour titles in 2008, he was the top-ranked Latin American golfer for several years. Cabrera's highest ranking in the official world golf ranking was 9th on October 2, 2005. Cabrera and Gary Player Design launched cooperation in 2009 to work on a golf course design firm with an emphasis on Latin America. Rafa Cabrera of Argentina won his first major tournament in the 2007 US Open. Open in Oakmont, Pennsylvania, when he sank a 20-foot, 6-meter putt at the 8th hole, which was played at a long 300 yards, 274 meters on Sunday. He birdied one of the longest par 3 holes in major championship history. Cabrera finished one stroke under par for the championship, increasing his total to 5 over 285 and securing his maiden major title. By one shot, he beat out Tiger Woods and Jim Furyk, the runners-up. Rafa Cabrera, an Argentine golfer, won the 2009 Masters Tournament in a three-way sudden-death playoff, defeating Chad Campbell on the first playoff hole and Kenny Perry on the second. He was the lowest-ranked golfer to win the Masters, having started the tournament rated 69th. The 29-year-old struck his ball 30 yards, that's 27 meters ahead of his stroke, bouncing left and landing in the 18th fairway's middle. So after listening to all these, what do you think? What could be the future of Angel Cabrera according to you? Tell us in the comments section. Having said that, that concludes today's video and if you enjoyed our content, I'd ask you to give it a thumbs up and join this channel by subscribing for more golf-related news to come. 
Also, press the bell icon to stay updated with our activities. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon, and until then, peace.